guys, what's up? It's your girl Brittany Jade. Welcome back to another What I Eat Wednesday video. If you're new here, my name is Brittany and I do these What I Eat Wednesday videos every single Wednesday here on my channel or some type of fitness related content. So you don't wanna miss out on any upcoming videos for me. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. And if you're not new here, welcome back and thanks so much for clicking on today's video. I'm just gonna take you guys through another What I Eat in a Day. You know how it goes over here on my channel. So I hope that y'all enjoy this video. Today's video is in collaboration with Katie Lynn Maz, my sweet, sweet friend, and she is so gorgeous. She is a mama of three, and she has great content on her channel. She's also going to be doing a What I Eat in a Day video today, so when you're done with this video, make sure you head over to her channel and check out her video as well. So earlier this morning, I posted over on my Instagram this post where I talk all about this upcoming diet bet that I have going on with my coworkers. So I am going to go hard, you guys, hard AF in the next couple of weeks because I have some serious fitness goals that I need to tackle. And if you saw that post, then you know that I am doing a diet bet with some of my coworkers at work, and there is a nice monetary incentive, so I am really looking forward to crushing my goals and hopefully winning a little bit of money because that would be freaking awesome. You guys do not want to miss this Project Comeback series of mine. I am going to be documenting with you every single Wednesday what I'm eating. I'll be doing some weigh-ins. I'll show you guys a little bit of my workout routine if that's something you're interested in. Drop a comment down below and let me know that you are all here for Project Comeback. Just write Project Comeback in the comments or let me know that you support me on posting this new series. I'm super excited to take you guys along with me. Let's just go ahead and get on into the eating for today. Okay, so really quick, I just wanted to show you guys how you can prepare before you go out. Like, always make sure that you have healthy snacks with you. I'm definitely going to be out of the house for the next few hours, and I don't know exactly how long I'm going to be gone. So it was really important for me to always make sure that I have healthy snacks at my disposal, because if not, I kid you not, I'm going to be in the McDonald's drive-thru ordering chicken nuggets and like that is how I roll. So I have some pepperoni and cheese here. I've got a hard boiled egg. I've got some assorted vegetables, like some broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, and then I've got some strawberries here. And I don't even know like how much of this I'm going to eat, but I'll show you how much I did when we get back. We are gonna go run a couple of errands and I am going to go and pick up coffee and do that right now. Can I do the, um? Americano. I have heavy whipping cream in there because I know you guys don't have any, but the Americano with the sugar-free syrup and caramel syrup and sugar-free vanilla. Um, I said that all backwards. So I always order the toddy shots, which is like my coffee stands cold brew, and then I order a pump of sugar-free caramel sauce and a pump of sugar-free vanilla syrup and I bring my own heavy whipping cream because they only have half and half here and that's loaded with carbs and sugar. So I don't know why, but like ordering coffee for me, like I'm always a huge cluster butt in the line. Like I know exactly what I'm gonna order. I order the same thing, but I can never get it out properly. Maybe it's because I've got like a car full of like aggressive children. Anyways, I am headed to another appointment right now, so catch you guys in a few. One of the goals that I have for myself that I'm definitely going to be working on is increasing my water intake. So I am going to be trying to drink a gallon of water a day. And the way that I'm doing this is by flavoring my water with lemons, limes, and mint leaves. And I'm just going to be using purified water from my refrigerator and pouring it into this gallon so I know exactly how much I'm gonna be drinking throughout the day. And I definitely recommend this if you're somebody who struggles with water intake, having a visual like drinking out of a gallon container and just marking Marking how far you're getting along with the day is a great way to keep track and also keep yourself motivated. So I'm going to be slicing up just some lemons and limes and a little bit of mint leaves here and I'm going to be adding those to my container so that way I can pour a little bit of water in and just pour it into my water cup like that. I definitely recommend to pour just a little bit of water in at a time instead of the entire gallon because if you've ever done this before then you know that the peels on the lemons and lime kind of make the water a little tart. So just start off with a little bit of water at a time and just keep filling it in from that gallon jug. Oh 
All right, you guys, so this has literally been like the craziest day ever. It's literally 2.45, and the only thing that I ate out of my snacks was one piece of broccoli and two strawberries. So I'm about to have like a massive meal because I'm literally starving, and I should not have let myself get this far gone, but I did. So I'm gonna be having um, one of these fully cooked sausages and these, let me show you the stats on there really quickly. And I'm gonna have that with the boiled egg that I showed y'all from earlier because they didn't eat that. And I'm gonna saute up some spinach and just have some avocado and like really get like some healthy fats in really quickly. One of the things that I'm going to be implementing is a ketogenic lifestyle. If you're not new to this channel, then you already know that I follow a very low carb, high fat diet about 80% of the time. But during this 12 week process, I am going to go very strict keto where I'll be counting my macros and I will definitely be staying within the parameters of my carb intake per day. And that is something that I really look forward to because it always keeps me on track and I see great results from eating this way. All right, guys, so I'm feeling pretty hungry right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and have an Oikos Greek yogurt. Um, this is because I'm feeling something sweet right now, so I'm gonna take some blueberries that I have in my freezer and just top that on top of here, and that is gonna be like my little snack or whatever between dinner. It's four o'clock right now, and so I try to wait until my husband gets home to eat dinner, and we're gonna have wings tonight, so I'm waiting for him. Um, but I am feeling something sweet right now, so just to curb that kind of sweet craving, I'm going to have this. Okay, so I'm gonna be making some chicken wings for dinner, and you're just gonna need your basic seasonings for this. I am a total believer in the power of five. <laughs> just salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, and then we're gonna make these in the oven, and they're gonna be crispy keto wings. So how you make them crispy is by coating them in these seasonings and a little bit of baking powder and putting them in the oven at 450 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. wanted to do a barbecue and a buffalo style dressing on these wings so I just melted some butter and buffalo sauce over medium heat there on my stovetop and I'm just going to put the wings in that and then I do the same process again for barbecue sauce so I do a little bit of butter again and barbecue sauce and I just coat the wings in there and then I put them back on to the baking sheet and I bake them a few minutes longer just to kind of get them nice and crispy with the sauce baked in and these are really delicious I'll the recipe down in the description box for you guys. All right, you guys, so this is gonna be my dinner tonight. Just some celery sticks with some of the chicken wings and of course, my favorite blue cheese dressing. I feel like I talk about this in every single video now. Legit. The only difference with my husband's is that he gets a little bit more and he's getting some rice with his, so. Yep, that's my dinner. All right, you guys, I'm about to measure out a half a cup of this, which is the serving size, and I'm going to end my night with this yummy treat. My daughter can't see me. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this out, and I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I hope that you guys enjoyed this what i eat in a day if you did please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and make sure that you hit that red subscribe button and don't miss 
me next Wednesday. You don't want to miss my project comeback. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Thanks so much to my friend Katie Lynn for collabing with me on today's video and don't forget to go and check out her channel next. I'll have that link down in the description box for you guys. Bye.